Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you a little bit about the Shape Builder tool, as well as see if you can um, learn a little bit about alignment. Okay, so let's first tackle that alignment thing. I have some shapes already put on my stage here. And uh, you're welcome to open up this Shape Builder doc and follow along. I'm going to use my black arrow tool to select several of these. I'm going to hold down Shift, which is one way to do it, or I could simply envelop them, like so. So, now that I have these enveloped, I want you to notice up here in the control panel how I have these other options. These little options are your alignment tools. And you can align to selection. In other words, they're going to align to each other. Or align to the key object. Or align to the artboard. Let's see what some of those do. Align to selection. I click this little thing, align horizontal left. That means the left side of each of these should be all along a left line. And because I'm lining them to each other, it's probably going to pick the thing that's left most. Let's see what happens. Yep, it didn't move this guy because he was left most. And then it lined up the edges here. Let's undo that. Let's see what uh, horizontal center. So they all kind of cinch together to line up in the middle. And right. So they lined up on this because it was far as right. All right, I'm going to undo that. Let's do vertical line top. <laughs> they all end up on the top. Let's do vertical line center. They all up and end up in the center. Vertical line bottom. So you see how those work. Vertically distribute the top. You see how that works? I'm going to undo a couple of those. And you can distribute as well based on these. And what that is, is that's just trying to align them where they're distributed evenly. That's like the space is what we're talking about. So you can also set these things up to align to the artboard. So when you do that, left is going to actually sync it all the way to the left or up to the top and so on. Now, I want you to know that just because these are on top of each other, it doesn't mean that they're connected. Okay, um, I'm going to undo, and I want you to understand what you can do. Let's say I have this circle here. Let's say I want to duplicate it. I'm just going to hold down Alt while I'm on the black arrow tool and drag out a copy. Maybe I'll drag out another copy and another copy. So I want to line up these dots. I select them all, and let's align them based upon, hmm, how about their middles? Notice they jumped all the way down because we're lining to the artboard. I'm going to drag them back up. And uh, let's see if we can distribute them because the space isn't right between them. So let's do it based on the middle. And look, now they're all spaced evenly. So this is a way to quickly align objects on your stage. Now I'm going to do some other craziness. Like, let's say I have all these objects here and I want to select them all. And after I select them all, I'm going to align them to each other as well on the middle. So I've got this shape here, and you're like, okay, there's my shape. The problem is this is really several shapes, isn't it? If I click on this one, you see they're all several shapes together. Well, what you can do when you have several shapes is select a couple of them. See how I got this two? The stop sign looking one, or the octagon, and the circle. And then I can go to this really cool tool called Shape Builder. And we're going to use that to connect shapes together. So you see how when I have shapes selected, it's not doing anything with these ones, it kind of highlights them. And what you can do is drag from one to the other. Now that's together, and those two shapes have kind of been merged. In other words, there's no vertical line here anymore. Do it again, and those two are together. And so on. Now, you have to continue selecting other ones. So if I select this guy... And that guy, now I can do those together. So I'm going to hold down Shift to select multiple ones and then drag to attach them to that particular group. Now these shapes are all together. Now I can't get this guy. Dang it, I have to go back, select him as well, and go ahead and attach that one into this group. Now let's see what happens when I try and do it with two next to each other, outside of each other. All right, I'll go ahead and get this circle while I'm at it. 
Okay. It's like, what are you trying to do? There's nothing to connect. You can't jump the the different space between. It's kind of like you're looking with a contiguous situation. So here's what I want you to do. I just want you to take a bunch of these shapes that you created, and I want you to merge them together to where they become one shape. And my goal is that when I go up here to click, right? Now, obviously, I have this extra one. I'll delete him. You're gone. Uh, if I want to select all your shapes, they need to look like one shape. I don't want to see any new lines inside when I do that highlighting like so. And that's it for this one.